Great. Well, actually, what we'd like to do now is talk to you a little bit about the best product that we have. I mean, I love Body Balance. I've used it for 15 years, wouldn't be without it. Love the Be Lean, the Be New program. But our best product, which I personally used for 15 years, is our business opportunity. Can I, can I just say something here? Um, when, we, when we first got involved with iForce, I did not want to talk about business. I felt embarrassed about it. I, I didn't know what it was. I didn't understand it. And it took me learning about what we were doing. Like really, I set myself a task. I'm going to learn what this thing called network marketing really is and then I'm going to make a choice. Am I going to do it or am I not? And it was, it was the best thing I ever did because the more I started to really understand what what we were doing by empowering all these people's lives, by giving them choices, by taking away stress, by allowing mothers to stay home with their children instead of putting them in daycare. I mean, it's just been an astonishing thing. And one of the things I realize is that for me, health is not just physical health. I mean, this is fundamentally the foundation. But health for me encompasses a whole lot of other things. It encompasses healthy relationships, being part of a community, feeling like I'm making a difference in the world. It, it encompasses things like financial health. That's, that's a huge piece. Because one of the things that I've, I've watched for decades I've been a healthcare practitioner now for almost 40 years. For decades, I've watched the stress that people are under because of lack of money completely compromise their health, their life, their relationships, everything. And so this piece Michael's talking about for me has been absolutely huge. Yeah, maybe like Krista, early on, I had a, um, a bit of a block around this thing called network marketing. See, it's a new industry on the planet. And there's a number of uh, quotes I could give you, but I'll give you one from an old guy from the Middle Ages, Machiavelli. He said, there's nothing as risky as introducing a new idea. Because you'll be seen as weird or unusual or dangerous. But once that idea is accepted, you're seen as ordinary. And I think that's where we are. I had an image of network marketing that was inaccurate. See, I was in business. And when I thought of network marketing, no offense to our senior citizens, I thought of old ladies going door to door selling each other soap. And I said, well, I don't, I don't, I'm not interested in that. I have no interest in it. But when I took a closer look at what this thing is, I got very excited, and I'll tell you why. I got excited because this is a new method of wealth creation and wealth distribution. Let me give you a, an interesting statistic. Between Krista and I and the company, we've distributed over a half a billion dollars of these products around the world in the last 15 years. A half a billion dollars. And out of that, we've paid out over $200 million in money to people just like you. Money that's going back into the community instead of to some corporate office in Hong Kong. And that's just two of us. Just little old us, because when we got started, we weren't rich. Matter of fact, if we were born with a spoon in our mouth, it was probably plastic in mine and wooden in hers. It wasn't silver. <laughs> we had no money, we had no income, we had a lot of debt, and we had no way to get rid of that debt. And, uh, you know, we had jobs, they were sort of, they weren't exciting jobs, and they didn't pay well. And we knew every month we were getting further and further behind. We didn't have big social contacts. I had been out of uh, my country for several years traveling. Krista had never been in, in the United States, which is where we settled when we got married. <coughs> we didn't have capital to get a business going. And what we found is most people don't have those. They don't have capital. They don't have the time. They don't have the social contacts. They don't have the business skills. They don't have education. They don't have special language or presentation skills. And what we found in this thing called network marketing is none of that is critical. None of that is the important deciding factor. You see the economy shifting. If you look around the world right now, it can be pretty scary. 
And it's been scary before. It was scary when the Industrial Revolution happened because people couldn't just go from a, a farm to running sophisticated equipment. It was scary when we moved to a service economy in the 1950s. Instead, people couldn't just move out of a factory into a service job. And it got scary in the 70s, 80s, and 90s when we moved to a knowledge economy. And people who had a regular job suddenly were looking around going, I don't know how to work on a computer. I don't know how to work this knowledge economy. And it's scary again because we're undergoing yet another fundamental shift in the way wealth is created and distributed. We're moving away from the old ways. See, my father gave me some advice as a young man 40 years ago. He said, hey, go to school, get an education, go to work for a good company, and you'll retire and you'll have your golden years ahead of you. And, you know, with all due respect, I love my father. That was great advice then. But does anybody think that's good advice to give to a young person right now? I don't think so. Young people are, if they can get a job in their chosen career, are certainly not looking at working 40 years for the same company. And neither are the rest of us, are we? You see, to be secure in this world today, we must be business owners. You must own the business to prosper. Because if you're working a job, or if you own your own job, if you're in a service business, if you own your own job, what that means is, you're building somebody else's dream. If you're working a job, you're building the owner's job. If you're a, a, a professional, a massage therapist, an accountant, service profession, you're building your landlord's dream. You're building your employee's dreams. That's, and you know, you get what's left. But let me ask you a question. Even if you own your own business, the day you stop working, how much longer are you gonna get paid in that business? If something happens to you, or if life happens and you just wanna stop working, how much longer are you going to get paid? See, that's an old industrial model, the job. It hasn't been around forever. It's only been around a couple hundred years. And it's rapidly going the way of the industrial age. Worldwide, there's a recession on and there's very high unemployment. It's now called, it's now called uh, systemic unemployment. It's structural unemployment. It's going to be high. So what's the answer? Just sit around and be depressed? No. You see, there is a solution and there is a strategy that you and the people that you love can adopt to take advantage of the new opportunities that are emerging. There's some new strategies, and one of them is to use this new economic knowledge base but virtual economy to build an income for yourself and your family that is a residual income that keeps going when you stop working. See that? It, to build a secure income that's lifestyle income, so that if you choose to stop working, the money keeps coming into your, your family's bank account. Now that's exciting. That's the promise of the new economy, is freedom. It's about freedom. It's not about wearing a certain kind of clothes and showing up at a certain job for a certain number of hours and a certain number of years, and then, you know, the golden years. I gotta say, I turned 60 this year. They're not that golden if you're stove in and beat up from working at a job that you may love or you may not love, but you know, you're at that point where, let me ask you the question, when do you want to start the golden years? Now or at some date called 65 or whatever the industrial retirement age is? If you want to start it now, you've got to take the strategies and act on them. And the strategy, why I'm so excited, the strategy that's available to the average person, not Donald Trump or Bill Gates, to us, to create wealth in our lives right now, the access that we have is called network marketing. And that's why I'm excited. We have helped over $200 million go into people's pockets just like you. And we're just getting started. So if this is of all interest, I encourage you to look deeper at what we do. This thing called network marketing. It's not a bunch, I mean, I have a little gray hair, I could go to door to door, which I don't do, and I don't recommend you do. What I'm seeing, the correct image of this industry is a place where young people are piling in. They're getting in on the action because they're looking at the options, they're looking at the industrial model options and going, that isn't valid, that doesn't work for me. I don't want that life. They want a life of freedom and choice. They want choice about where they live, how they spend their time, who they spend their time with, 
how much they want to earn, and what they want to do with that. And for people of middle or older age, how about this thing called time? Krista mentioned you've got to have, you've got to have physical health, relationship health, financial health. What about time health? How many of you are aware of time poverty? How many of you know somebody who feels impoverished around time? How many of you feel you have time poverty? Look, I know lots of people that make lots of money, but they are so time poor that they cannot take a break to enjoy that money. I know people with successful businesses. They can't take off for a month or a year and do what they want to do. They're time poor. And if that realization sparks something in you, I invite you to take a look at this model. This is about going to business by, with, for yourself, but not by yourself. In other words, you don't have to have an MBA to do this. You don't need to have a, a, a big wad of cash. You don't need to have good credit. You don't need to have a bunch of time to do it. Matter of fact, most people start part time. We give the training. We actually go to work in your business day one from when you say, yes, I want to do this. Now, Chris and I make an extraordinary income and have for many, many years. We're free. We never have to work again in our lives. And yet, if you decide you want to do this, we will go to work with you in your business along with our team to help you build your business. To help you build your business. Now, I'd like to think we're unemployable. We're not for hire. And if we were for hire, we'd be pretty darn expensive. But I ask you this, have you had an offer where you can have multi-millionaires, us and the team, go to work in your business from day one for nothing? No fees, no, 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 no charges, none of that. We are after your success. We're going to provide you with state-of-the-art training. Look, I've been around the training world and the personal development, professional development world for decades. And I can tell you the quality of training you will receive here will be worth tens of thousands of dollars, and there's absolutely no charge for any of it. It's our investment in your business. One of, one of the things that was a huge aha moment for me at the beginning of this journey was realizing that this is my life. This, I've got this much of it left. What am I going to do? Am I going to give myself the choice to really do what I want to do in my life? To really live what I came here to live? Or am I going to keep going like this? I've got these few choices and I've got to choose from that. And, and it was just, it was huge for me. Like, this is not a dress rehearsal. This is it. This is it. I don't get another go round here. Well, maybe I do, but not in this body. <laughs> So, you know, what are we waiting for? Yeah, well, you know, we would be remiss if we didn't invite you to take a closer look at this. We're not really interested in you making a snap decision or some kind of, you know, I'm all in, without knowing the facts, without experiencing it for yourself, because we can tell you a lot of things, but that doesn't mean the products or the business is right for you. The only way you'll know is by you using the products. Get some, try it risk-free, put them in your body. See if they work for you. See if you like the benefits. See if they're the kind of products that you would recommend regardless if there was benefit to you or not. If they are, that's a big green light. That's a plus. Try the business. Refer it to a couple of friends. See if the company sends you thank you checks for doing what they would have to pay celebrities or big advertising companies to do. You see, they're very willing to share that money with you if they don't have to spend it over there. That's how it works. And if you find that the business is starting to work, maybe you put a little time in, you, you experiment a little bit, and you get these nice little thank you checks. If that works, I'd say that's a green light. And just like test driving a car, if you get in the car and it looks good, you get in and you, you take off and you're getting green lights, yeah, I keep going, this is pretty nice, huh? If you get a yellow light, slow down. If you get a red light, stop. We're not interested in you doing something that's out of integrity or out of alignment or not fitting with your life dreams. You see, we're only interested in having people who want to be here, who want to take advantage of this new economy and these new strategies for liberation and freedom.
and wealth creation. Because when I said we go to work in your business, we're not interested in working in somebody's business unless they want to be there. It's too hard. Why would we want to do that? We, this, is, this is a cooperative business model. I worked in the competitive business model and had some success, but I got to tell you, it was killing me. It was all about competition. There was a limited amount of goodies and there were a lot of people competing for them. And while I love competition, healthy competition, it tended to bring out some of the not so healthy behaviors and strategies. And I knew I didn't want to do that. It was slowly killing me. It was literally killing me because I had to, I was developing ulcer and other health problems. And I decided I would rather have an alternative way to, to, to do life. Okay? This is different. This is not competitive. It's a cooperative business model. It's a cooperative business model. We work together. We work in teams. See, competition is no longer an issue in my life. We don't have competition. We're, you want to know who gets ahead in this thing called network marketing? It's not necessarily the, 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 the real heavy-duty sales types or, or real aggressive people, although they can, can do well. It tends to be people who enjoy helping people, teachers, educators, people in a service profession, people who enjoy being of service to others, whether in a formal way or an informal way. The people who do the best here are the people who go and have, have the most profound service for each other. We go to work in a team, in a community, to help us all get ahead. And the rewards can be staggering. They can be phenomenal. Maybe we could tell just a little bit about our lifestyle, where we came from and where we're at now. Yeah, sure. One of the things that I also just want to say, in addition to what you just said, was that I truly believe in order to make a difference on this planet, we have to start working together. It's not going to work otherwise. We have to join forces and we have to start working together. And we have to empower our communities. And we have to have a way of doing that. We have to have a way of doing that. And this, for me, is just, it's, it's a beautiful way to actually put that into practice. You know, it's, it's real. It's grassroots. It's us all working together to benefit people's lives. Every single dollar I make is because somebody's life out there is being changed. And that's an amazing way to wake up every morning. When, when we first started, like Michael said, um, we, he, you'd been traveling for a long time on the road. <laughs> and, um, and we kind of traveled around a lot when we first got together. And um, we really didn't have a lot of income over that time. And so we built up a lot of debt. And for me, when I went over to the United States, um, <laughs> I, you know, I went over there because of Michael, and we were there for years before I was able to have enough money to come back and see my mother. And one of the incredible gifts that this business has given us is we get to come back every year now. We come back and spend the whole summer here. We come back for four or five months every year. And it's just, it's amazing. There's no way we could do that without this business. That's just one of many things. The other thing that um, also has been huge for me is the availability of resources that we now have to change other people's lives. We, have, we are able to give away more than I could even have imagined. 20 years ago. There's so many ways that I can impact somebody's life now. You know, we have projects that we support that this, there's no way we could do that before. And it's just, it's huge. It's, it's an amazing, amazing difference for me in my life to have just this abundance that I get to share. And I just, I, I give thanks every single day for the, for the life that we've been given and what we have. It's extraordinary. Mm. I remember when I was uh, younger, I was struggling to get an education financially. Had to borrow money, had to work multiple jobs. It, it wasn't easy. We, I, I'm 
very proud to say we, are, we have put a number of, of people through their education. We've been able to support them financially, so they don't have to have that. We've been able to do projects with young people, doing, doing, helping them to mature more in a more community-held way. We're able to invest in projects where people can get clean water. You know, it's amazing. Money doesn't do everything, but there's amazing. Sometimes just a, 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 an amount of money can make a critical difference at a critical time for a person or a project or a community. And we now have the money to be able to do that. That wasn't even an option before. Uh, a wise man told me, he said, you know, a man or a woman, a man with an empty plate is a burden on the community. A man with a full plate can feed the community. I believe it's our responsibility to become wealthy. I believe that we have the, the access to it. It's not everybody's responsibility. But for those of us that see the need in the world today, to see need in our families and our communities, and we have access, there is a certain duty that I feel to create wealth and deploy that wealth in different ways maybe than it's been deployed before. To create sustainable community organizations and, and functions. To create a sustainable livelihood for, as Chris said, for a, a single parent or a couple that wants to stay home with their children while the children need them while they're young. You know, it, it just pains me to see the parents work to afford to send the kids to daycare so they can work, so they can afford the daycare, so they can work, so they can afford it. It's this endless little cycle. And then the children grow up wondering, is this what it's about? There's something fundamentally wrong about that industrial model. There's something wrong when we have to outsource and, and warehouse our parents, our aging parents, or our family members when they need us there. There's something fundamentally wrong about living in the wrong place to suit you. If, you, if you're in the city because of the jobs and you want to live in the country, or you, in the, you, know, you want to live in the city, and you're in, if it's just the lack of money that's dictating the choices of how you eat, your medical attention, where you live, what you do with your time, that lack of money, that poverty, or the lack of time, if these are the things that are more than annoying, if they're keeping you from your full potential as a human being, I say enough is enough because we have access to the vehicle to change all that, should you choose. Now, I want to bring this to a close by just saying there's, there's only really two things you need here. We said you don't need a lot of capital, you don't need great credit, you don't need a bunch of talent, you don't need some big database of contacts, you don't need business skills. None of that is really important. There are two things, though, that are critical. One is to have a dream. It's a dream for a better life. Now, I don't know what that is for you. It could be doing work in your community. It could be doing nothing. It doesn't matter. Having a dream is important. I know from the time I was young, I was encouraged to dream. But as soon as I got to a certain age, oh, he's a dreamer, became derogatory, not an invitation. Right? We're encouraging you to dream. We're encouraging you to dream big for your life, your family's life, and as big as you want to take it, because here's the vehicle that can deliver the resources for that dream. So you need a dream. And number two is you need to be willing to work for that dream, and work hard for that dream. They say nothing of great value comes free in life, and I think that's true. The, the things that I value the most have cost me, and maybe that's why I value them, I don't know. But I do know this is, this is work. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's not some sort of lotto. It's a profession that you can do part-time or full-time. But should you choose to do it, you know, I think you'll find, like I did, uh, uh, again, I, 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 a wise person said, the day you find what you love doing will be the last day you ever work in your life. <laughs> and I don't consider this work. I consider it what I do. And a lot of our friends who do this feel that way, too. So it does, take, it does take dedication and commitment. And the good news is, you're part of a team that's committed and dedicated. And we're here to work with you. We're here to provide the resources, the training, the support, those shoulder to shoulder, hand in hand, let's walk together kind of actual work together support. And if this interests you, if it appeals, we'd love for you again, 
Don't take just our word for it. It's an invitation to do a test drive. Test drive the products, use them in your body, your family, your friends, test drive the business. If you keep getting green lights, it'll be my joy to work with you. So thank you for your time and may you have all the success that you deserve. Thank you. Thank you.